Hello, everybody. My name is Tiap Rajan, and I'm a network engineer with Aerowire Networks. Today, we will look at how we can create local users on ClearPass. Right. So, uh, to create local user, navigate to configuration, identity, local users, and this is local user page. Now, you may want to create a local user on ClearPass for the purpose of uh, TACAX login, or you may not have an AD infrastructure, and you may have a limited number of people who may be connecting to your network. Right? So you can add local accounts for your employees, and you can have them authenticate directly against the ClearPass local database. So to add a local user, hit the add link on the top right corner, and we've got to fill in a few fields. Now, the first field is the user ID field, and this is the username that the client would use to log in. So let me enter Aruba. The name would be a name for this local user account for your own reference. So say for example, I can name this Aruba test. And then the password, Aruba123. Now the username would be Aruba for this account, and the password would be this password entering here. The name you have here is merely for reference purposes and will not be the actual username that the user uses. Now, check this box, obviously, if you want this user to log in successfully, it should be enabled. And there are a few Cisco switches that uh, support this feature of uh, forcing password change after the first TACAX login. So we don't need that here. And then you've got to specify a role for this local user. And a generic role would be employee. And uh, if you want, so all of these are the default roles that come with the ClearPass OS. And all of these have square brackets, meaning they are default. If you'd like, you can create a custom role. And I'll show you how to do that. So to create a custom role, just go to configuration. And you have roles here under identity. You know, which is basically the same pattern tab for your local users. You can hit the add link here and add a new role. You can name it anything. Say, for example, error wire employee. Hit save. And then after that, when you try to create a local user, you'll have error wire employee in this drop down, and you can choose that. And you can add attributes if you'd like. Again, these are optional. You can choose a designation for the user. And remember, whatever you enter here, you can use those in your policy. So if you have a designation called uh, Network Engineer, you can call this designation attribute while the user is authenticating. And you can give different roles or different ACLs or VLANs for different people in different designations. So that's the whole purpose of having these additional attributes here. You can authorize access for users based on these attributes or even this role that you select here. All right. Now you can add a local user here and you also have an account settings here. Here you can specify a password policy if you require, right? And an expiration time for these accounts. And you can also choose to disable accounts if there are too many login failures for that account. So you can set your account settings here. All right. Thanks for watching.